What's happening everybody? So today we're gonna do a little bit of mix shop update slash trucks only. We're gonna be showcasing the F100 project in the shop. We have a 64 F100 that we've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of custom fabrication on. Uh, we can start off with the back. We have a fully customized back half with uh, cantilever suspension and a wishbone uh, four link. So my idea behind here was kind of uh, like a like a mini truck style, really wild back half, featuring uh, you know some some tube bedding, some tube rolling. What's really special about this wishbone piece is actually it's it's tube rolled and bent all out of one piece, featuring a four nine inch, and then again a cantilever rear suspension. Uh, reason for cantilever, really just just for fun. Um, it does give you a really nice lift ratio. This thing actually lifts up pretty, pretty high in the back. I think it was like 15 or 16 inches. You still can't get the damn tires out, but you know. As you can see, extra big ass wheels. They are 24 inch Forgiatos. Being the 24 so tall, it doesn't actually allow the truck to fully lay, um, but it's close enough. And uh, the only stipulation with this build is customer said, you can do whatever you want, but I gotta have these 24s, so we're making it happen. Moving on to the front, again, a whole lot of custom fabrication. We have a Coyote engine, custom twin turbo kit. I know we talked about the custom equal length headers that we fabricated in-house, uh, featuring Zona turbos, which are tile wastegates turbo line. What's really nice about these are a stainless V-band housing and a billet center cartridge. Wanted to jazz it up, did a boss intake. Uh, it's a Gen 1, so it should make some good horsepower. Uh, custom side mount intercoolers. So these were, we bought these just as a, just the intercooler course, and we fabricated the end caps. These are very special too. They were kind of bump rolled. It's, I don't know if you can see, but it'll, it's a pretty nice tapered roll. That's on the front and back. Then we did some ducting to kind of feed the the intercoolers. I do plan on probably doing like an aluminum or polished grill, uh, maybe even like a different color, maybe do some like rose gold or copper accents on it. The front suspension, it is a Mustang too, but we highly modified it. Uh, we narrowed the control arms even more, ended up building custom uppers, uh, notched the frame and raised it up pretty substantially. Featuring Powered by the Hour swap kit, moving the alternator over here, power steering and AC from a modular setup. Uh, we're gonna be running the, power, the PVH harness and two by lawn as well. Got some uh, LS Fab firewall panels that they knocked out for us. We plan on keeping a nice smooth firewall, not gonna really have much, much in that area. I believe I got a Scott's Hot Rods frame mounted uh, brake pedal. So we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do that there. Um, again, the 24 inch 4Gs, as you can see, a Willwood, uh, Willwood brake system. You can probably see the wheels a little bit better now. Of course, you gotta have a matching wheel. This thing will get blown apart. Frame will get painted, body will get repainted. I think that's pretty much it. It's kind of where we're at with the build. We're getting ready to take, take the cab off, do some more frame work. Uh, probably work on some of the, the front end parts. Uh, I think we're gonna try to get it running, but uh, I just wanted to update on this, this beast. I know I'm sure a lot of people have been wondering like, What's that badass thing in the background? Well, this is it. So anyway, that's it for now and stay tuned for more. Thanks again. Goodbye.